Let's try a book example. Instead of making a folding brochure, let's walk through the process of adding fold-out panels to a book. The steps will be the same. Our book will be an 8.5 by 11, 36 page self-cover saddle stitch brochure running as three signatures, a 16, a 4, and a 16 page signature. In addition to the 36 core pages of the brochure, we will also add an additional fold-out panel on the front and back of that four page signature, creating two fold-out panels. Last, we will adjust all pages on the four page signature so that the panels are slightly smaller than the rest of the book so that the fold-outs do not get trimmed off when binding. Our booklet is 36 pages plus additional panels. Each panel requires two pages, so our Indus document will have a total of 40 pages. The 36 pages plus four additional pages for the two foldouts. I didn't do a diagram of the entire book here, but you can see that these, uh, the pages in the middle would represent the interior or the core of the book, and then I'm going to add an extra panel on the outside of the four-page signature. But this four-page signature has a front and a back, and so I'll need to add two pages for each panel. Identifying the spine on a book is a lot easier than on a folding brochure. It is right down the middle of the core pages. This is an illustration of where it will land on the four-page gatefold in the middle of our book. Create a physical dummy. When creating a dummy, you can choose to create it using signatures, one large sheet of paper folded down to make smaller pages. In our case, it will create 16 pages. Or you can use smaller four-page signatures. There's a time and place to use both, but for our purposes, I am going to use two 16-page signatures and one 4-page signature, plus the additional panels that we talked about, to illustrate how the signatures will nest together when the book is produced. I would like my 4-page signature to land between the two 16-page signatures. After you have finished assembling your dummy, number the pages. And you can see from my examples here that I have three signatures. And you can't tell that these are 16 pages, you'll just have to trust me, but I have 16 pages on the outside. The next signature is my four page signature, which has the extra panels that are tucked in right now. And then there's another 16 page signature in the middle. It's important that I make this dummy because I need to figure out where the pages are going to land as per my binding. I am going to use saddle stitching because that was in the prompt for the example. And when I saddle stitch, I need to nest the signatures. If you look down here, you can see again, this is the same shot of our 16 page signature, our four page signature, and then another 16 page signature. And again, you can see that there's an additional fold out panel on the outside of both the right and left hand sides of that four page signature.